Innocent Ogaro, KTN News. To other news and police in Tetetaveta County have seized over 30,000 litres of ethanol worth 250 million shillings, which was being transported from Tanzania along the Taveta Voy Road. The Taveta County Commissioner Josephine Onunga confirmed the incident and applauded the security agents at the Taveta Border uh, Customs for sharing the information about the truck that was transporting the 130 drums of ethanol. For that and other stories, here is our news roundup. It was a big win for police after they seized a truck that was traveling from Tanzania using the Taveta Voy Highway. The driver of the truck is currently being held by police as they conduct further investigations. Taita Taveta County Commissioner has asked the public to collaborate with police to curb illicit brew in the area. Investigations are ongoing, but we are happy that we've made a very big breakthrough and we will continue. This will take us very far. To confirm who is this cartel on the fruit of ours. We had information three days prior to arresting this motor vehicle. Uh, up to now, we have gone a long way in the investigation. We have uh, some suspects in our radar we are following. Elsewhere, game member of parliament Elisha Ocheng Odiambo is accusing a gold mining company Shanta of allegedly conducting mining operations in the area without proper government license. According to the legislator, the company was initially given license for exploration but went ahead to mine in the area. He accused the company of operating through proxies and bypassing relevant government structures. We met two workers of uh, Santa Gold. What we have told them, we want the owners of Santa Gold. We don't want to deal with faceless, rudderless Kenyans. Uh, we don't know who's the owner. But... And in Kajiado County, the State Department for Irrigation has launched a micro-irrigation project to enhance food security in schools. The move is aimed at initiating learners into practicing irrigation of crops as well as in calculating the right attitudes and skills to ensure food security following the recent drought. The impact that this project will have in this community and in this school. This is an arid and semi-arid area, as we all know. And we have a lot of potential in these areas. The potential of these areas is the huge tracts of lands that we have. But the only problem we have here is water. And I want to thank the State Department for Irrigation for this project. In Machakos, learners at Mulani Public Primary and Junior School are in jubilation after the construction of the first ever laboratory in the school. Previously, learners were using a mobile laboratory in a carton and at times they were forced to move to neighboring secondary schools. This laboratory is a, has a value of uh, 3.5 million with everything equipped and uh, it can ac accommodate 25 learners that are going. Yeah, with well spaced. Eh? With everything, there's gas, there are enough uh, lamp stands, there, there are enough chemicals, there are enough stools for them, and it's spacious. On matters justice, Gishugu law courts will be conducting open sittings in villages and towns in a bid to reduce backlog of cases. The move is also aimed at educating the public on the importance of alternative dispute resolution mechanisms to avoid costly court cases. Well, thank you very much.